Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about observation method which comes under Unit 5 that is data collection methods in the subject nursing research and statistics. This video will be useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students as well as students who are studying MSc nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates already we have posted many videos on nursing research and uh, statistics i'll be giving the link in description box suggested end card and i card so today's topic as i have told earlier it is observation method of data collection what is observation method the term observation or the word observation is derived from the latin word observer which means to notice so observation means we are noticing something or we are observing something so here the observation nature is derived from which word latin word observer which means to notice observation is a technique for collecting data or acquiring information through occurrences that can be observed through sensors with or without mechanical devices so it is a technique used for collecting data collecting data or information or getting information or acquiring information through occurrences that can be observed through our senses senses means our sense organs uh, through vision or hearing like that so with or without a mechanical devices sometimes you can observe as it is sometimes you can take a video or you can record it like that okay audio video recordings also that is called as mechanical devices so you can use mechanical devices that is with mechanical devices or without mechanical devices it is two part process that is to collect data for study that includes an observer someone who is observing something he is called as observer and the observed observed is there is something to observe okay suppose if a teacher is uh, observing a procedure from the student the teacher is going to be the observer and the procedure what she what the student is doing that is the observed thing okay so uses of observation method so first to understand an ongoing process or situation so you have to understand something which is an ongoing process or a situation to gather data on individual behavior or interaction and skills between people so you can observe the skill you can observe the behavior you can observe the interaction between people then to know about a physical setting to know about a physical setting okay so suppose um, see even now we have inspections to our colleges of nursing uh, schools of nursing like that and all so the inspectors will be observing whether the institution is maintaining all the standards norms like that and all so to know about the physical settings data collection where other methods of are not possible so other methods means like questionnaire method interview method rating scale checklist so many other methods are there no so that methods of data collection if you are not able to implement so for some studies only observation method is an apt method so such type of studies you have to suppose if you want to assess the cultural pattern of your particular community so the best thing is you can observe you can observe the practices cultural practices of that particular community or society okay next what are all the types of observation you have so many types of observation uh, to mention a few structured observation unstructured observation participant observation non participant observation so there are main types of structured observation unstructured observation participant observation non participant observation let's see one by one what is structured observation in this method researcher prepares a structured or semi structured tool in advance that is prior to prior to the observation he will be preparing a structured tool or a semi structured tool maybe uh, some checklist or uh, some questionnaire what and all the things to be observed like that or sometimes semi structured tool in advance to observe the phenomena under study for example a student is doing a demonstration means the teacher will be having a format which and all uh, thing she has to observe and based on that whether the student has done all those things for example whether the student has explained the procedure to the patient whether the student has prepared all the articles arranged all the articles at the bedside whether the student is standing at the right hand side of the patient when doing the procedure whether the student is communicating with the patient when doing the procedure before starting the procedure whether she have 
hand washing so everything so after the thing whether she has recorded the procedure like that so many things you have to observe so you can write it and you can see whether the phenomena has occurred or not so this helps researcher to be on track while carrying out an observation as well as analysis of data collected during this method of observation remains easy so suppose if the observer is going to have a checklist or a tool to observe what are all the things a structured material or sometimes semi-structured anything what are all the aspects they have to observe suppose if they are going to have an idea it makes the observation an easy process so the observer can easily observe it and they can record it okay so what are all the tools which are used for structured observation by an observer are checklist rating scale categorical system okay checklist rating scale and categorical system so next is unstructured observation so unstructured observation means here in the name itself you can tell uh, it is just opposite to structured observation where the researcher is not going to have any particular tool or structured tool or semi structured tool so here uh, only the individual is going to observe whatever is coming as it is occurring the phenomena as it is occurring just like that the uh, person will be observing the things so there is not uh, any uh, previous so, so what are all the criteria you have to observe like that and all there will not be anything just like that they will see and they will observe the things whatever is going in a natural setting or a natural phenomena okay for example like phenomenological studies and all no this unstructured observation is going to be very useful so for this type of thing what are all the tools you will be using log and field notes anecdotes field diary video recording separate videos i will be posting on this log and field notes anecdotes field diary video recording and all so these are all what unstructured observations so log notes field notes as and all whatever you are observing you will be writing it out anecdotes incident whatever the incident has happened that you will be writing out field you will be maintaining a diary or you can record it suppose you may forget no so you can do your video recording of all the things whatever is happening in that particular situation like that so this is unstructured observation next is participant observation participant observation means here for some ethnographic studies phenomenological studies like that and all no the person the person he himself will be involved in the uh, particular uh, community and he will be observing the things uh, whatever is taking place in the um, community uh, or the particular uh, social cultural thing and all yeah, he will be observing the customs the traditions and all so historically field and ethnographic studies have been associated most strongly with participant observation where the observer may leave or work in the field and actively participated in ongoing activities for a, an extended period so if you want us as the a cultural pattern of uh, a particular group of people okay tribal people whatever it may be so here the observer will be going and he, he or uh, will be staying with them and he will be observing what are all the things happening in that particular thing okay so here what are all the tools they will be using log books field notes field diary um, uh, tape recording they can do or they can do video recording okay next is non participant observation so here the individual he will not go and mingle with the particular community just he will observe sometimes the participants may not be aware that some person is coming and they are observing uh, like that so here in this type of observation the observer works as an um, eavesdropper where an attempt is made to observe people without interacting with them so here um, just uh, you, you will not uh, you will not uh, involve us self uh, with that uh, particular people but just you will observe observe so that the persons may not know that you have come for a purpose and you are observing them like that okay so here it is non participant observation in this technique the observer is not a participant in the setting but is merely viewing the situations so people are observed without their knowledge that they are being observed so the people may not know that you are really observing them okay just the person is coming simply like that they will be thinking but they may not know they have come with a specific purpose they are doing some research like that and all okay so this is what non participant observation so what are all some of the categories and observation method so narrative observation where you can use observation method like a field notes anecdotes sample observation here you can use rating scale checklist even sampling time sampling technology assisted observation so now we are using modern technology like photographs audio tapes video tapes cctv few tages like that 
what are all the advantages what are all the advantages it provide direct real time information on ongoing and unf unfolding behavior process situation or even so directly you are observing okay so you are visualizing you are uh, sensing it through your sense organs uh, so you can know what are all the thing what is happening in the real life situation or when your phenomena as it occurs what are all the things uh, so it facilitates access to people and situation where questionnaire and interviews are impossible and inappropriate to use as i have told it for ethnographic studies field studies and all best thing is to go for observation instead of going in for interview schedule or questionnaire schedule or other methods wherever it is fails you can go very well for this observation some studies only by means of observation you can do it and not by any other means so data what is collected may be accurate and also it is reliable or consistent like that then it provides access to people in real life situation if you want to know the real life situation if you are going and observing only you will be knowing simply i can i not sit here i can tell that people in so and such community they will be behaving like this like that and all how i can believe that these people are like that they are living a lifestyle like that means unless and until if i go there and if i am going to observe them their practices visually everything i am going to sense it means at that time i can very well tell that particular community is going to behave like particular uh, way so for uh, this uh, how we can tell it confidently is only by means of observation and not by any other means then uh, it improves precision of research results so as i have to accurate precision everything okay then researcher gets current information so it's not uh, that uh, um, previous thing if you want to know the present thing suppose uh, after a uh, uh, for example before introduction of uh, any program okay any program governmental programs after implementation of governmental programs so before uh, implementation that everyone should have a house uh, like that you know some programs are there from the government so before that how the community they have lived in attached houses now after the implementation of the program after the government has implemented it uh, how many people have accepted it and how many people have got uh, um, brick houses like that and all we can able to see unless and until we are going and observing only so researcher gets current information about a particular area or phenomena whatever it may be so next moving on to disadvantages hathrone effect already hathrone effect i have posted in a separate video because under two marks they will be asking hathrone effect suppose if someone knows that we are observing them their behavior will be different okay their behavior will be different for example students know when uh, teachers are there uh, in the watch setup uh, Uh, they will do everything very correctly consciously like that and all it doesn't mean that if student uh, teacher is not that they can do it wrongly it's not like that uh, um, because always we will be watched by lord almighty and we have to tell answers to our own concerns also so um, a hathrone effect means whenever teacher is there you will be doing all the procedure very correctly perfect tray set up everything you will keep and uh, you will do it correctly so when when uh, when some people know that you are observed you are being observed so in hathrone studies also what they have done they have given very good lighting situations everything for a one group of people where the production is more similarly they have given dim lighting uh, then um, uh, the working conditions are not that much present as that of other group but even though this group also has increased productivity what because they know uh, if you are going to give because already they know that they are go they are they are observed and if they are going to have uh, give more productivity uh, so some um, increment like that it is going to happen so both groups are aware that they are being observed so in spite of uh, unhealthy working conditions also they have improved their production so that hathrone effect when someone knows that we are being observed our behavior will be changed or different than normal so this is a big disadvantage hathrone effect already have posted a video you can watch in our channel nursing research playlist next is time consuming and expensive sometimes it may be time consuming see if i have to so if i want to assess some uh, a culture or a traditional practices of a particular group of community or a tribal people i have to travel there i have to be there i have to be there i spend there for uh, some months together with them like that and all so sometimes it is very time consuming and expensive also so does not enhance the clear cut understanding of why people behave as they do sometimes you may not know why uh, people are behaving in such a way 
okay so because your uh, lifestyle may be different from their lifestyle and they may have some uh, traditional practices or cultural practices or taboos or folks or beliefs like that and all so we sometimes uh, just to we can observe it but we may not know what is the real uh, practice which is going behind that uh, why the particular community people why they are behaving like that like that and all so the these are all some of the disadvantages which cannot be justified okay so hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link as i have told earlier i have given in the description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research related videos and statistic related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel